Is it is it working? Yeah. All right. Hey guys. Um, it's I'm weird. All right. Uh, so just first of all, I've heard that you guys had a lot of problems with my name uh, because I'm announced like as Krzysztof, which is a Polish version of the name Krzysztof. So let's let's stick to Chris. No, no worries about Krzysztof. I know it sounds terrible. All right, so uh, before we start, just a few words about me and about the, the presentation itself. So um, I'm a business development guy now working at uh, Vivid Games, which is a mobile games uh, developer and publisher. Previously, for almost four years, I was working at Techland. You may know the company from, from Dying Light, The Dyland, The Call of Juarez series. I was also responsible uh, there for, for all publishing matters. So, um, today's presentation is uh, just, just a few words bef be before we start. So, uh, first of all, I'm not going to convince you here to go with a publisher. This is, you know, just a brief presentation of, of many aspects uh, related to a publishing process. Uh, you have to bear in mind that each situation, each title, each developer is treated by by a publisher individually. So uh, there are some some cases which are which are very common for this for this process. But you have to be aware that that each time many things can can go differently. So uh, so yeah. So let's start. So this is a, a screen of a pretty, pretty famous Polish movie. It shouldn't be interesting for you at all, but the question is pretty, uh, pretty important in terms of uh, things we'll be discussing today. So organize your knowledge by answering yourself uh, pretty, sh pretty short and pretty simple questions, such as what's, this your, what's your game, what's, what's the genre of your title, uh, what's... what's uh, what are the platforms you would like to re release your game? What's your strategy for future? Do you plan to, to support the game in the future after the release through DLCs or, or some, some additional campaign for, for the title? What's the business model? Is, is, is the game a, a free-to-play title or maybe a, a premium, premium game? Uh, what needs the game fulfills and is it relevant to the actual requirements of the market? I realize that you are that you guys are not specialists in terms of what's, what's going on in the market, but I'm pretty much sure that, you know, you're, as you're making games, you also are players, so we pr pretty much know what's, what's happening currently in the market. What's the uh, audience for your, for your title? Are you aiming, for, uh, are you aiming at uh, casual players or maybe, maybe mid-core players or ha hardcore players? What's the competition for your title? And, and the most important thing, what are the game features making it unique? So, uh, those are pretty, as, as, as you notice, those are pretty, pretty, pretty simple questions, but uh, by organizing your knowledge, you're preparing yourself for a discussion with a publisher to show, to show him, to encourage him to, to, to finance your product, to, to, be, you know, to support your game in the future. If you are still working on the game, uh, what's the current production stage? Uh, is it, you know, maybe you are, not, maybe you are for the time being, you are discussing some, your, some ideas with your colleagues. Maybe you have a prototype. Maybe it's already, there is already alpha or beta. Uh, how much time do you need to finish the game? Do you need an extra help uh, to finish the project? Help, like, additional people for your team or maybe devices? Uh, you know, if you are preparing a game for, for, for mobile devices, uh, it's pretty much expensive, as, as you may know, to provide a, a game for, for Android. There is a lot of, uh, of devices in the market currently, so, so a help from, 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 from a publisher side in, term of, in terms of devices is, 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 uh, is very important as well. Uh, what are the strengths and, and weaknesses of your team? So the next step after answer, ans you know, you're, you're just answering yourself these questions, so the next step is to uh, is um, connected with providing some 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 materials. What kind of materials should you prepare for a discussion with a, with a publisher? So uh, all evaluation materials that you may have, everything what what can visualize the game. For you know a prototype, the mentioned prototype, every screens concepts. If you are just starting thinking about the game, try to uh, provide some kind of a, uh, of a list of similar titles. 
you know, just to show what are your ideas in terms of, of, of the game you're preparing. And just um, another, another pretty, pretty, pretty important thing is a features document, which will show a publisher the main features and the USPs of, of your title. So, and of course, a uh, business plan. But, you know, I realize that you are not, um, you know, marketing guys and you just want to provide a good game to focus on, on, on providing a very, 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 very nice title. But still, you know, I, I'm just, 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 just to let you know, you don't have to provide a 200 pages uh, document. Uh, just, just to just show a publisher that what kind of support you're looking for, how many people do you need for your team, uh, how much time do you need to finish to finish the game, all you know, hitting the point and all clear, just to just to just to convince a publisher that you are that you know what you are talking about, and yeah, that's that should be sufficient, pretty much. You know, two even a one page document or two pages document, that's all. That's all. So, uh, conclusions. That was the very, the very first step of, of uh, you know, the, the potential cooperation with a publisher. You've organized your knowledge. Now you, um, you know, bearing in mind the for foregoing aspects, you're preparing yourself for a discussion, as I said. And, co and, uh, and actually, and what's, what's the most important, you concrete your needs. So thanks to this, you'll be able to find an, an appropriate partner for, for, for targets your team and you want to achieve. So, uh, you know, you've, you've organized your knowledge and now you're just, just uh, you know, thinking about, okay, what, what a publisher can do for my, ga for my game, for my title. So these are the, 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 the main uh, things that the publisher provides in terms, of, in terms of supporting your game, starting from uh, production and technological support, like, you know, Unique technologies. Each time, uh, you know, we we discuss some title, which is, uh, let's say, um, in early stage of the production, uh, we consider how 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 many things we can put into the game from our perspective. Maybe some some unique technologies that we own as a publisher. So we can. So each time we discuss with uh, each time we discuss some stuff with uh, with external developer or publisher. We can provide him with a cross-platform multiplayer. We, this is our, you know, we have our own technology in terms of that content delivery network. Uh, a, a good publisher, you know, has knowledge and experience because you know that there are some companies which are pretty much long in uh, operating in the in the in the market, so the, the, they know its specificity pretty good. So they also have knowledge in terms of sometimes, and th that would be a perfect situation when you, when you're discussing some, pos some, some possibilities for your title with a publisher uh, who's actually also a developer. This, this, that would be just, just uh, f in my opinion, that's, that's, a great, that's a great idea to, to find some, something like that because apart from providing a support for your, for your title on, your, on the publishing field, so, so doing a marketing, doing PR, uh, I don't know, live ops, etc. We'll be discussing this later on. He can also provide you with some some cool stuff in terms of uh, making your your game more, uh, you know, unique by providing you, by providing some 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 technologies as well, some support from the pub, fr from the development side. Maybe uh, he can also provide you with some 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 guys from from his his own team related to the engine, etc. So that that would be the the, the coolest situation in in my opinion. Uh, so, uh, so thanks to this, uh, it he will make the, the the production more valuable. He provides a QA, uh, maybe some some opportunities for porting as well. Because uh, previously we were discussing some, you know, organizing our knowledge, and maybe you 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 will uh, decide to release the game for for PC only. But sometimes a publisher can can think about releasing the game also for other platforms because you know in his opinion the game will will fit also other platforms like I don't know let's say mobile devices or maybe console so that's and from 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 his side you can you can count on his support in terms of porting as well uh, he can provide uh, support in terms of servers and technological backend I've already mentioned devices 
So, so that's that's pretty much uh, in regards to you know provide to to to, to provide uh, some some special special uh, technological backend for your game. Localization. This is also very important because as you know, releasing the game on the market, you you just want to have uh, you, you you want to to. You want that, you, you know. You, it's important to have your game in in all available territories to to, to make it appear in all stores. Uh, so localization is is a must of to have you know to have your game in those markets. Plus culture, which is also very important in terms of providing the game for uh, very specific territories territories such as uh, Asia, for instance. Uh, and of course, financing. We've uh, We've been talking about recently, so you know, by financing, a, a, a publisher can can do some 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 spends on your game, can give you money for for you know for the studio to to for for people to to to, to you know just just to finish the game and make it even more valuable. That's a pretty. That's uh, in terms of uh, you know strict publishing support. So uh, a publisher will be responsible for store exposi exposition and visibility uh, in stores like uh, App Store, Google Play, or, or Steam. Uh, he will also be able to invest in some some well-known IPs. So let's say you you just want to you're preparing a, a racing title and just want to release it. You know because the game is pretty good. But, but the publisher can also, you know, f uh, see some opportunities in terms of providing the game with well-known IP. Let's let's say I don't know Fast and Furious, for instance. So this, uh, you know, the good example is that we uh, f in Vivid Games at Vivid Games we've uh, we've been considering the second installment of the Real Boxing series, and we've been looking for some cool IP that we could support the game to to make it more visible. You know, to, to 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 have more players in the game. So yeah, so we decided to to reach out to MGM and and sign a deal with them. So the game was renamed as a uh, you know re real boxing to Creed, and that was the official game for the Creed movie. So a good publisher can also provide you with some some cool uh, IP investments. Uh, in terms of um, ASON and CEO op optimization, this is also connected with some some keywords that may be very important in terms of uh, Google Play or, or or App Store. There are we uh, you know there are some some special people inside the publishing company who are, who are responsible for these kinds of matters, uh, as well as social media or customer support, or for especially for free to play games uh, user acquisition. So the publisher will invest for for more uh, players for your for your title. Uh, he will provide also a legal support because there sometimes there are some 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 legal issues in terms of, let's say, uh, you want to have some 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 characters in the game which are which looks pretty familiar to to characters from another game, and this might be some 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 issue in terms of you know the legal line. So yeah, he will also be able to to, to provide you through his uh, legal team uh, with with relevant help in in terms of this aspect. Also, a brand of publisher is quite important. You can s uh, the best example I, uh, example as uh, you know I remember was uh, connected with Activision when uh, actually Call of Duty was uh, these times. W w the, the Call of Duty series was was pretty good, and uh, yeah, the people were just you know looking for for titles uh, with uh, Activision logo on the box because they were pretty much sure that other titles from this publisher will be on the same level as you know as the Call of Duty, which is of course you know we know you know how it is, but still this is a pretty pretty much uh, pr pretty important thing for you as well. So uh, a publisher will be also dis uh, responsible for, for distribution in specific markets uh, such as Asia, uh, and you know uh, uh, cr he will also be able to provide a cross promotion with other titles of, of uh, in his portfolio. So you know your game will be featured in his his other titles. If we are speaking about, for, for instance, for, uh, about uh, mobile titles, so uh, you know uh, ads. Uh, in other games 
uh, will be you know just showing your title. So this is this will definitely have an influence on 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 more people playing your title or just just people who will try to to reach out for your game. So uh, in terms of the publishing support, we of we will of course have uh, marketing, which is you know connected with uh, organizing the trade shows, organizing w, the you know the sites for your game, all marketing materials, ads, store expositions, events, conferences. And press tours. This is uh, monetization support is related mostly to, for uh, to uh, free to play titles. So, but this is still pretty important if you are considering releasing a game which is you know in this specific business model. So, uh, a publisher can provide you with analytics with uh, guys who are also responsible for these kinds of matters, and there there is a lot of numbers. But the thing is, you know, not to have a lot of numbers, but to read those numbers, to have some knowledge from them, how to improve the game, how to encourage more players to reach out for the game. Uh, a publisher will also provide you with, uh, provide the game with, with uh, all live ops activities. So he will try to change the game constantly in terms of, uh, you know, some, 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 uh, some let's say, uh, Halloween, Halloween is coming, so let's put some 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 new stuff I into the game. Let's put let's put some some interesting characters to the game. So you know, players will be able to see that the game is changing. That's still uh, it's supported relevantly. Uh, a publisher will also be responsible for advertising monetization and provide you with know-how and access to relevant tools, which are. Uh, pretty much expensive, really, especially in terms of analytics, good analytics, and as and, and I, as, as I said, uh, you know, knowledge from from the, these numbers is pretty important. So, conclusions: uh, a good publisher offers full support for your title. You'll be able to finish it by financing, let's say, and reach higher audience with the game, and the game will be aid, aimed at generating the highest revenues. And speaking about revenues and speaking about issues, I think the main issue between uh, publisher and developer is that uh, developers, and I totally understand developers because they treat they, 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 their title as, a, as an art, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. But you have to, you have to know that when you're reaching, reaching out to a publisher, he won't treat your game as an art. He will treat your game as a product. And sometimes you have to switch off thinking about your game as an art and switch on thinking about your game as a product. Because this, that's the way it's, it is. That's the way the, the cookie grumbles. Yep. The pub publisher each time uh, treat, tre will treat your game uh, as a product because he will want to have revenues from it. Uh, first contact. It might be tricky, but don't forget to ask, uh, ask, and ask. So, try to um, just, just you know, this is another step. You, you prepared all your materials. You're reaching out, re reaching out to to a publisher. You want to establish a, a cooperation with him. Uh, you provided him with with the uh, mentioned materials, and he's okay. He's interested in your title. So what have you, what what should you what what you what should you do now? Start from NDA. Don't even think about providing a publisher without having an NDA in place. Without you know, just don't send any materials. Don't speak with him. Yeah, you, you can speak with him actually, but don't don't say about any numbers you might have in your head. And you know, don't don't even think about sending any any evaluation materials to. Uh, to a publisher, there are some publishers. Uh, you know, each time you can you can really believe uh, that, that everything will be cool and everything will be okay. But sometimes uh, there might be a situation when uh, you, after some time, you will notice that a game, uh, another game from another developer, is pretty much familiar, uh, looks pretty much familiar, and and it has some 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 features from your game. And holy shit, how you know? How is it possible? It is possible. So, so try to support yourself and you know, try, start from NDA. 
uh, and ask ask about pretty important uh, things. So, how long does the publishing company operate in the industry? Uh, how many how many people work there? How many of them are related to marketing aspects and PR? How many to localization? And what's you know what's the company structure? Is the publisher also a developer? We've been talking about this today, right? So the experience in developing games is, is quite important for you as well. Uh, so what's the track record of, of, of the publishing company? And, you know, it's, it's not about the number, uh, because a publisher can say, all right, I have uh, 150 titles in my portfolio, right? And I'm cool. No, it's not cool. You have to check which, which of these titles succeeded thanks to this publisher. So the number is not so important here. Uh, what's the current situation, uh, fi financial uh, status of the company? Because, you know, uh, you may sign a deal with a company which uh, in two months uh, be invisible, and that might be a problem, really. So try to ask and ask and ask, because this is, this is very important to you. Uh, Will your title fit to the publisher's portfolio? There are some publishers that, that are, you know, supporting um, very specific genres or, or working only with, uh, with, with games um, in some, some um, specific business model. So they are supporting uh, only, for instance, only free-to-play games. Uh, so try to uh, think about fitting your game into his portfolio because you know it's when you're trying to to establish a cooperation with a publisher you have a i don't know first person shooter for hardcore players and you see that uh, all right 90% of the game in his portfolio is more for are more for casual players so it's there's definitely something wrong here right uh, what kind of monetization support the company offers? This is also very important for free-to-play titles. Are uh, proposition regarding these aspects real, defined, and target for high revenues? And you know this is pretty simple, but still, you know you you you're making games, so you have a lot lot of colleagues here. So ask them if they had some 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 experience in terms of of of, of this publisher. Ask them. Check the web. Uh, and define support correspondingly to, to your to your needs. We've been talking about your your uh, your needs, you know, by organizing your knowledge. So you already know what you need, and try to go with a publisher which will be able to fulfill to fulfill them. Which territories will be covered by by the publisher? Uh, what's your current contact with the publisher? Do you see that he cares about your game? So, yeah, I, I realize this is pretty difficult to, to feel this when you're discussing things through email, but, f in, you know, there is a point when, when, a, when a publisher calls you or you call, you call, pub you call a publisher to discuss some, some more details about the game or, 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 or the, you know, the, the, the whole process. So try to try to you know hear and see how the, how the company you know is 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 he involved is he trying to is he, is he you know is he trying to to do good things for your game is he providing you with uh, with with a you know plan for your title conclusions. So answer, uh, answer to these questions will put some light on the best publishing companies for your game. This, and I, uh, I will you know, say that it's, it's good to discuss with, uh, with a few at the same time. And we'll say why in a minute. Uh, so good, uh, just uh, when you decide to, to go with, uh, with a publisher and you have some offers on the table now from, from a few of them, uh, ask for the sales forecast for your game and take a notice of how long uh, and how the game will be supported by, by the publisher. Um, what sales a publisher predicts and what kind of numbers, you know, uh, if, if they are, um, on what kind of numbers they are based, if they are based on publisher, publisher figures or maybe G, GF keys. So, you know, this is, this is pretty important because a publisher can, you know, just can try to lure you with good numbers. So ask 
about them, how you know how 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 the publisher calculates that. Uh, having in mind these, check if the targets you set for the game will be achieved, and how does the competition look. So. Again, try to work with uh, a few publishers at the same time. Try to arrange a few offers, to have a few offers on the table at the same time. Uh, so later on, uh, if you you know if you see that okay, this is this 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 look nice. So ask for a financial offer, which includes financial terms uh, and uh, the most important thing detailed info on the revenue share and how it will be settled. Uh, because, you know, sometimes you receive a good uh, offer from a publisher with good MG and, or let's say, um, revenue share 50-50, right? Or for, 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 for PC titles, like, you know, re re if you want to release it on, on Steam, let's say 70-30. Uh, but see how uh, when you when wh when will you actually receive the revenue, and uh, but you know th we'll be discuss we'll be discussing this matter shortly. So check uh, check also base contract terms and condi conditions such as IP rights, because there might be some 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 situation where in and I've I've seen some of of these kinds of contracts when people were losing uh, rights to IP, for instance. And this is pretty crappy situation. Uh, what, what with another installments of, of the series? Because sometimes there are, there, are, there, are, there are contracts with provisions on, you know, um, blocking the way uh, for in another installments and, and giving you an opportunity to go with, with, the second installments of, uh, with the second installment of the game to another publisher. So take a look at the, have a, you know take a look at, at the contract and see if there is any any provision regarding this aspect. What what about the localization? Uh, you know uh, what what uh, what about distribution channels? Uh, how long you know the term? How long the, the contract will be valid? Uh, on which territories the game will be released? And subcontractors. This is also quite quite important in terms of whether is a, a publisher. Um, you know, have a right to 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 sign another deal with another sub uh, sub publisher for your title. So checking the foregoing and, and comparing it to offers from other publisher is a must. Uh, you have to be be careful and ask, uh, even if you think your question might be silly. Really, ask, ask, and ask. If something is not clear, ask. This is this is pretty uh, you know I, sometimes I feel when I speak with with uh, with uh, developers that they are I don't know why they are ashamed of asking of of something which might be pretty important for them so ask a publisher is there to to help you but you know be very uh, curious and ask about everything this is, this is all, also brings some light on uh, what you can count on in regard to financial and legal ter terms for your game because uh, discussing with a few uh, publishers will give will put some light on maybe at the beginning uh, your fi financial expectations might be too too high and having a few offers on the table you will be able to to you know to to have some some to, 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 to take some conclusions on what you can actually count from a publisher. This one or another one or another one. So another step, uh, guys, this is uh, pretty, pretty difficult. Uh, so you decided to, you, you have an offer from, you have some, some offers from other publishers and now you're, uh, you decided to okay. This one is pretty good. The publisher is 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 also you know a very good publishing company, very responsible and well known, and and you know everything is okay with them. So let's go with them. All right, but don't be too enthusiastic. Not always the highest offer uh, in terms of financial condi condition is the best, because as I said. Uh, previously, revenue share, uh, you have to bear a special attention on the uh, net revenue definition because sometimes, uh, maybe not sometimes, each time 
publisher will try to you know recoup some 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 cost on on costs on his side before he will give you uh, a real revenue share from 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 uh, from your title. So pl please bear a special attention, take a special, pay a special attention on the net revenue definition. So uh, what will be recapable on the publishing side? On the publishing side, uh, taxes, marketing expense. What else? What else? What else? Where? When I'm gonna see my mo the money from from my game? Actually, right? Uh, what kind of contract do you have? Is it a flat fee? Which is, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if somebody is signing a flat fee uh, contracts right now because in terms of flat fee, you're just receiving a money, uh, you know, a num let's say I don't know, five thousand euro for for the game, and that's all. You won't be able to receive any 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 other money from the game. Uh, aren't you losing uh, rights you wouldn't want to lose? We've been discussing this previously, right? IP and other installments. Um, what about the improvements and updates you plan for the game? Uh, when can you terminate the agreement uh, and when the publisher can? This is also pretty important because sometimes you will uh, need to go through hell to, to, to terminate the contract, uh, but the publisher will be, will be you know, entitled to, to, to cancel the deal just like that because you are, I don't know, let's say, uh, one one day late in terms of providing him uh, with a milestone, so please bear a special attention in terms of you know uh, rights uh, on your side to terminate the, uh, the argument. Will the game fit to the publisher's portfolio? Right. So we've been discussing this uh, lately. Is he is he experienced in that genre or business model? Do you feel that publisher really believes in the game? Again, ask, ask, and ask if something is uh, not clear. If you have, uh, if your friend is a lawyer, ask him for help in terms of, you know, uh, just reviewing the contract. Uh, compare the risk between you and the publisher, and don't forget that you have a right to to fight and negotiate. But listen to common sense. If you think that you're fighting. you know, for 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 some provision which is not so important for the game. Uh, Maybe it's it's time to, to to skip it because you know uh, this is this is the most difficult st stage, very long and as you know very important. Try to have a win-to-win -win situation. Remember about your targets, but be aware that sometimes you have to agree for something which is not in the line with with your targets. Uh, so when you're losing something, try to get something uh, f something else for that. Always have a plan B, predict what, what, what can happen. So this, you know, you are not signing the deal yet, right? You're just reviewing it. If uh, anything is, if everything is okay, uh, that's a miracle. Uh, but still, if everything is okay, uh, okay, you are ready to go and sign the deal. But if not, you still have some offers on the table, right? Because you were discussing with few publishers and you can ask them for, for a draft of the, of the contract uh, as well. So, uh, another step, you decided to sign a deal. So, uh, after that, you, you know, the, the adventure is, is, is actually starting. Try to live together uh, and remember that nobody is doing a favor here. Uh, so, you're working together to make profits for both sides, not only for a publisher, but for you as well. Uh, um, cooperate with the publisher during the, the life cycle. I answer his proposals regarding, uh, I don't know, promotion activities for, for, let's say, Christmas, for instance. But uh, have, have, you, have your own initiative in terms of that. So if you have any ideas to, I don't know, to provide some, some special characters or maybe uh, do some special promotion because, because, I don't know, you have, there is your better day coming, so do it, do it. J just reach out to a publisher and you're working to, together now, right? Uh, check all reports you're receiving. Don't hesitate to ask when something is not clear for you. Check if the game is visible uh, where it should be. So check local stores. Uh, you know, spend some some time on looking for uh, for the game in in, in other territories. I, I know this might be difficult uh, difficult in terms of some uh, you know some uh, language 
uh, differences, but try to, to find your game. Is it really uh, offered by the stores, which, uh, which should be uh, in the contract? To, together set up a plan for improvements through DLCs, etc., and, you know, in my opinion, if it's possible, try to reach uh, a long-term cooperation with a publisher, because if everything is okay, uh, if you are pretty much happy about the current situation, cooperation with, with, with him, you're receiving money from your, from your game. So try to, you know, to even think about, you know, uh, this, another installment for the game, try to try to release the, the, the another installment with the same publisher because you already know how much time and efforts uh, a, a publishing deal costs. So, a word about self-publishing. Uh, as I already mentioned uh, at the beginning, I'm not going to convince you, uh, but still, right, right now, uh, as you all know, uh, access to distribution channels such as Steam, Google Play, Apple, Sony, and Microsoft is pretty simple, right? So you can go directly without any agent and ask them whatever they like your game, if if they like your game, to publish the, to publish it through the through their store. And you know, if you need some 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 kind of a financial support, you can reach out to Kickstarter or or many maybe some some investors as well. There are, there are many companies uh, that provide uh, marketing support only, uh, localization only, uh, user acquisition only. So you, you can cooperate with many companies to, 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 you know, to, to provide uh, your title with, with uh, publishing support. So in terms of pros, you're going without any agent, as I mentioned. Uh, there is more uh, clear and possibly higher revenue share because if you are doing this directly with the store, there is no agent, nobody is, you know, there is no publisher which is supporting your, your game through marketing. He's doing some, he's, he's making some spends on your game. There is only you and the store. And of course, a lack of huge publishing deal you have to go through. But, and those uh, Questions are pretty open, and they are for you. Are you able to reach all channels and all territories? Uh, do you have well-established relationships with channels? And this is also pretty important in terms of uh, releasing the game for mobile, especially for iOS and Android. Uh, you know, I realize that it's pretty simple to reach out to Google uh, or, or, or App Store. But uh, publishers which are operating for more than 10 years have a long-term and well-established uh, cooperation and partnership with, with these companies. And this is not only, you know, just sending emails, okay, guys, can we, can we put this title on the store? Yeah, right, why not? No, it's also about, you know, speaking with them, meeting them. And so, so this is, it's, it's not too easy to, to have your, your game in top charts. Uh, w without any publishing support, really. It has to be very good, which I believe it will be, because I believe in you guys, that your game will be just perfect. But still, without a, a, a support on this field, it's pretty much, uh, it's, it's very difficult to, 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 to reach top charts or be in a top grossing with, with, with your free-to-play title. Uh, do you have time to answer hundreds of emails about your game? What about the player support? Um, are you able to prepare relevant marketing materials and, and uh, exposition? Will you be able to take care of the com community of your title? Uh, are you sure that the game will represent the highest production quality? Uh, will monetization in your game be set to, 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 to make it uh, as much profitable as possible? Still fun for players because balance here is, is very important. Can you gather relevant data and metrics and what's more important, read it and constantly improve the game? And will you be able to reach relevant audience? So, there is no good answer for that question. Nevertheless, remember that time wasted for setting up all those things won't be returned. And a uh, publisher working in the industry for many years, as I said, has uh, huge experience and resources and well-established long-term uh, long partnership with channels you would want to reach. And 
you know, putting the game into the, into, into the store does not guarantee its, its success. And uh, just a word about our publishing program for mobile games. So, um, you know, we, we, just, we, we, we decided to focus on a, uh, only on a specific range of titles. So for our publishing program, we are looking only for, for free-to-play games with some competitive aspects uh, for mid-core audience. So we are basically looking for pretty much similar titles to what we actually do on the, on the development side. And uh, yeah, the company is quite big. We now have 120 people on board in two, st two offices in, st uh, in, in Poland. And we provide a full, uh, full support for, for the game, starting from, from uh, financing through promotion, monetization, and, pr and, and uh, uh, of course, uh, production as well. So, uh, thanks, and just, uh, just one personal favor f from me, if I, if I may, because, uh, you know, I'm <laughs> I promised myself that each time I'll be speaking to, to, to you guys, uh, I'm going to ask for uh, one thing, because uh, th this is a pretty common problem, in, you know, during my job. Uh, if, you, if you're making a game, just try to build as, you know, a website as simple as possible with your address, email address, or telephone number. Because sometimes it's, as, it's difficult as hell to reach out for, 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 other, for, for, for a developer for me. When I see that, I, I'm totally you know, sure that the game will fit the, uh, our requirements. It looks great, but I'm unable to reach out to ask if he's interested or not. So this, this is pretty simple. Just try to have your own small website with, uh, I don't know, with a game logo and your email address or, or telephone number, and that would be great. That would be, and I, I would really much appreciate that. All right, thank you.